Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomot. Did you miss me? I know DJNA Carrington hasn't missed me because I've been letting that girl have it over the last two days since the eye gouge of the century. But before we jump in, thank you so much for your continued support of our channel. We are growing closer and closer to 5,000 subscribers. Right now, we are sitting pretty at 4,954 subs. We are 46 off of 5,000. We thank you in advance for helping us get there. Well, let's just jump into this video, which, as you can see across the bottom of your screen, is DJ Man Carrington finally spoke up about the eye gouge of the century. She was questioned today by uh, Christine Brennan, who asked her not once but twice about the situation. <clears throat> and we will let you hear DJ Carrington's response and what she says, which, you know, when you look at it, you couldn't have expected anything else. Can you believe that someone here on Twitter right now is saying, how do we petition for media credentials to be revoked? What the WTF is this? So some random woman co-host on the best, the best damn W show, co-host, name is Lolivia Pope at Lolo B-Y-K-E. Doesn't think that media members should ask questions of athletes when they have done something. But I want to, before I jump in on this video, I just want to show the reality here. <clears throat> this is an athlete who posted on September 23rd which was yesterday, September 22nd, which was Sunday, September 22nd again, which was Sunday, September 22nd again, which was Sunday, September 22nd again, which was Sunday, oh, again, September 22nd, again, September 22nd, again, 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 again. And now we're at September 21st. This is a young woman who posts on Twitter damn near every day. Whether she posted herself or she reposts, she's always got something to say. She's had plenty to say earlier this season about this team, about the Indiana Fever, about Caitlin Clark, with all types of nasty commentary about them and about Caitlin Clark, basically calling her an enabler of racism and all kinds of other nasty shit. The reason I bring that up is <clears throat> when you are so commonly active on Twitter and you've now seen a video posted about you a gazillion times on social media, one might think that you would probably respond. And here's the laughable thing. Dijanae Carrington's Twitter, at Dijanae Victoria, she has a cross, Jesus first. I don't know that Jesus truly believes. I don't know that Jesus truly, if you believe in Jesus, Jesus, Jesus was about, I mean, you're, you're claiming religion and stuff like that, but you said some awful nasty stuff about some people, man. I don't know that Jesus did that, did he? I don't know. Maybe I, maybe, maybe my 12 years of Catholic school, I missed that day in class when he was calling people out of their names and when he was called, referring to people as racist and xenophobes and basically holding them accountable for other people. Um, and then on top of that, eye gouging people and then just leaving them on the ground and looking at them and running past, I'm sorry, not even looking at them, just running past them and then laughing it up, kicking, ha ha, and all that stuff. And then after two days of watching videos around the nation on your eye gouge, Still never said, you know what? It was an accident. 
I'm sorry. But let's listen to what Dijanae Carrington said when she was questioned by Christine Brennan. Did you, uh, when you went and uh, kind of swatted at Caitlin, did you intend to hit her in the eye? And, and if so, could you just, or, or, or if not, either way, could you talk about what happened on that play? I just, I don't even know why I would intend to hit anybody in the eye. That doesn't even make sense to me. But no, I didn't. I didn't know I hit her, actually. Um, I was trying to make a play on the ball, and I guess I followed through and I hit her. So obviously, it's never intentional. That's not even like the type of player that I am. Um, so yeah. Did you and Marina kind of laugh about it afterwards? It looked like you. there was later on in the game they caught you guys laughing about it. No, I just told you I didn't even know I hit her. So I can't laugh about something I didn't know happened. Sorry about that. Rub my hair, look away, look down, kiki, kind of giggle look, a very uncomfortable in response, looking like she knows that she did something. Let's remember, she claims now that she didn't feel herself doing this. She didn't feel her fingers dig into another human being's eye. She didn't feel it. So I didn't know I did it. Even after I saw Caitlin Clark on the ground holding her eye, I still didn't know I did it. So how could I be laughing about it with Marina Mabry? But yet this is what you were doing with Marina Mabry as she's poking you in the face multiple times and you're laughing about it kikiing ha ha kikiing with her why would you be doing that this is why it's so easy to call out a liar so easy to call out a liar a fraud a fake a phony you're ha ha kikiing with marina mabry here why else would marina mabry be poking you on the head why no reason right i, I don't think there'd be any reason why she'd be poking you on the head how about let's let's go let's go listen to this again. It's outrageous. Did you, uh, when you went and uh, kind of swatted at Caitlin, did you intend to hit her in the eye? And, and if so, could you just or, or, my or hair? Either way, could you? Because I'm uncomfortable about the question. I just I don't even know why I would intend to hit anybody in the eye. That doesn't. Mean you don't know why you would intend to do something. Oh man, let's go look at. Do you remember this? Yeah. You remember doing this? I, I mean, I'm just curious. Do you remember this? I can make this look better. Make it look bigger. Ass. Whatever. Let's, let's do it like that. Do you remember your, your mocking? Act, I don't know what you're doing there. Do you remember doing that? You fouled her, then you mocked her and, and made this little ridiculous thing. Who does that? Who who, who does that? I, I, I mean, you do. Sense to me, but no, I didn't. I didn't know I hit her, actually. I didn't know. Okay. So you didn't know. <clears throat> let's give you the benefit of the doubt again. Let's let's play that game. I played that game once with you already. Let's give you the benefit of the doubt again and say you didn't know. <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm I'm breathing on this one because, like, let's say you didn't know. You're a God-fearing woman, as you have posted on your Twitter, correct? 
This is what you have on your Twitter. Jesus first and a cross. That's what you have on your Twitter. Sorry, wrong one. Um, I was trying to make a play on the ball, and I guess I followed through and I hit her. So obviously, it's never intentional. That's not. Obviously, I followed through and I hit her. It's never intentional. Okay. Not even like the type of player that I am. The type um, of player I am. I, I can pull up a lot of clips on Dejanay Carrington playing a, a brand of basketball that's different from it, probably. 98% of the league, but okay. You're, it's never intentional. That's not my brand of basketball, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Did you and Marie? All right. So, <clears throat> I'm waiting for her the apology. Now that you know that you jabbed someone in the eye socket, are you going to apologize for it? As I mentioned in my video yesterday, MMA fighters who get into fist fights sometimes poke the other guy in the eye. And it looks pretty awful. And they immediately apologize. And these guys are fist fighting because they're not trying to hurt somebody in that way. They're trying to win a fight. They're not trying to blind somebody with an eye gouge. But you're going to sit here. And now that you know, even though, so we're giving you the benefit of that once again. Now that you know, and you're still not saying i'm sorry it was totally unintentional i'm i'm sincerely sorry i hope she's okay it definitely wasn't something that i was trying to do by any means it's an accident and i am very very sorry no you don't get that from her you get it it's not who i am blah 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 no apology because of the reality was she did do it on purpose we know she did it on purpose because someone who's god fearing and claims jesus all over their twitter page would be jumping on Twitter that they live on a daily basis and say, for everyone saying that I poked Caitlin Clark in the eye on purpose, I did not. I am sincerely and truly sorry, and I apologize wholeheartedly to Caitlin Clark. I hope she's okay. And you would have deaded the whole damn thing. But it is now two days after the game. This video has been going around since Sunday evening. <clears throat> it's now For me, it's now Tuesday evening. This interview she did was earlier today. And this is her response, minus apology, minus anything. She still has not said, I'm sorry. So let's listen to this response again. Did you, uh, when you went and uh, kind of swatted at Caitlin, did you intend to hit her in the eye? And, and if so, could you just, or, or, or if not, either way, could you talk about what happened on that play? I just, I don't even know. Why I would intend to hit anybody in the eye. That doesn't even make sense to me. But no, I didn't. I didn't know I hit her actually. Um, I was trying to make a play on the ball. And All right. I, I, I want to give you some audio. Your test determined. I want to do this. It's not, it wasn't supposed to work this way. It's supposed to be better than this. Damn. Lie detector test determined that was a lie. Lie detector this, test determined. Did you make Carrington? That was a lie. Did you make Carrington? Determined. That was a lie. You want one more time? Lie detector test determined. That was a lie. You goddamn right. That shit was a lie. She's full of crap. She proves she's full of crap. Just like all her fake ass fans who didn't know her name last year are full of crap. You jab someone in the eye on purpose. You try to hurt them. You failed, and now you're trying. And, and now you're you're acting like you didn't know. I mean, God, dog, if I bang my fingers into my head, or I'm sorry, into someone's head, I would feel it. And you're telling me you didn't feel doing this into someone's eye socket. You didn't feel that. Your fingers are that numb to sensitivity that you didn't feel banging into someone's eye socket. It's a damn shame that the WNBA has done nothing about this, but it's not. It's to be expected by these fucking shit show morons that run this organization. If this was in the NBA, she would have been suspended. She belongs. She belongs on the bench. She belongs suspended. She should not play the remainder of this series. 
I've seen other crazy suspend her for 20 games. Like, uh, nah. She should be suspended for at least tomorrow. At least Wednesday's game, she should be suspended. And she's it's not even, even been brought up. I give a lot of credit to that reporter because no one else has the stones to ask these questions. It's real tiresome watching and listening and hearing the nonsense. Dijanae Carrington, as I said before, is a certified POS. She's a dirtbag. And this just further validates and verifies exactly what I'm saying. She's a dirtbag. Because people who care about other people, even in the reality in the world of the fact that you are competing, and you may not like this person for whatever reason that you've created in your own head, which lar- in large part is based on jealousy, because there's no other reason <clears throat> for her to dislike Caitlin Clark other than pure unadulterated jealousy. Because she wishes she had the attention that Caitlin Clark has garnered. The fact of the matter is Caitlin Clark is a better basketball player than her. And it's not even close. It's not close. And she's mad about it. And she wants to make her name on Caitlin Clark. But there are levels to this stuff. You can compete against someone at very hard and a very high tempo and pace and physically bang them and do all those different things. It's the it's the nonstop tweets, the mocking, and now you jabber in the fucking eye with all of your fingers and fingernails. People said, oh, she doesn't, she maybe didn't have pointy fingernails at the game on Sunday, but she had fingernails that were well long, well beyond her fingers. So you see how my fingernail looks like this? It doesn't go beyond my the tip of my finger. Her fingernails are out to here. Her fingernails are a good millimeter or half a millimeter longer than her, longer than her finger. So she, you still are jabbing someone in the eye with a hard acrylic substance. It hurts enough with fingers, let alone fingernails. Fingers don't typically give a, give a black eye. Fingernails do. I've watched enough MMA. When guys get jabbed in the eye. They don't typically get black eyes from a finger to the eye. Caitlin Clark is lucky that that was a little bit probably right below the eye and not in the eye because that's why she had the black eye and that was created by the fingernails. It is what it is. DJ Carrington's a dirt bag. I stand by what I've said. Her fans can all go kick rocks. I don't care. All the videos and all the commentary that they've sent me, I don't care. Y'all can all suck it. Fact of the matter is, people know that this was a dirtbag play. My tweet now has 210,000 views, 6,200 likes, 1,400 plus reposts. People agree in in a 97% clip. Black and white. And Hispanic, not just it's not a racial, it's not a racially divided thing. <clears throat> Black and white and Hispanic are all for the most part saying this was a dirt bag ass play. But that's all I got. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Love to hear what you got to say. Like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell, and hit that bell to see all of our updates. Come on now.